be me, about four to five years old. These son of Catholic Mexicans went to America. Time when I had imaginary friends would describe them to mom. Dad was always working. One day I described one too well. Every day his clothes changed and his haircut too. Named John or some other very American name. Mom would start to get freaked out because shit would move around me by itself when I was playing. I wouldn't care because I didn't understand. Both parents would start hearing footsteps and see strange shit. One day after work, mom went without telling anyone to a white magic witch or some Santeria woman who works with that kind of stuff. Says it's a lost soul, latching on to any weak being. Recommends to pour salt in the entrance of house around the bed and spray holy water around the house while praying. Goes to store for salt in church for water. When she gets home, she opens the door and sees me crying on the floor in fetal position. Asks me what's wrong, if I got hurt or something. Tell her that I'm sad because of her, but why? Because you want John to leave forever and I don't want him to leave. Looking at Twitter late at night, accidentally dropped my phone behind my bed. Have to climb under my bed to get it back. Lodge myself under the bed so I can reach it. Grab it. Mission accomplished. Turn around so I can get out from under the bed. See a pair of feet standing on the other end of my room. As soon as I see them, they quickly walk off. Don't hear my door open or close, and it's really loud because I hang a bunch of stuff from the handle. Finally climb out, nobody in my room. My entire family has been asleep for hours. What the fuck? Who the fuck was it? Be me, 23. Too broke to pay the internet bill. Set up my computer on kitchen table and open the back door. Steal neighbor's Wi-Fi. Neighbor's back door is only a few steps from mine. Duplexes in a complex. Late at night, midnight or so, just pissing around on the computer. See some movement in the corner of my eye. See a dog peeking through the screen door. Kind of spooky. Don't know what kind of dog it is. Probably a mutt. Big, slender, long legs, pointed ears, long snout. Pour some food out on the ground for it. It has absolutely no interest in the food. Surprising given how skinny it was. Realize my own dogs haven't reacted at all. Find them cowering in my bedroom. Completely oblivious, I make fun of them for being scared. They're small dogs. Come back, dog is still there. Notice it looks slightly different. Jaws were suddenly distinctly longer. Ears much bigger. I suddenly feel uneasy. The dog sort of gives me a look as if it picked up on that. I reach to shut the door. Dog jumps at the screen door. Scares the fuck out of me. I slam the door, lock it. Hear howling all night. Another neighbor notices it too. Asks me the next day if it was my dogs. My dogs have cowered all night, so no. Could have been nothing, but I can't really do the experience justice in green text, I suppose. I'm still stealing internet with the door open, but I have a blanket draped over it just in case. Every so often, I'll hear something outside and my dogs will freak out, and I'll shut the door. Haven't seen that big dog again, though. Let's get a spooky green text thread going. Share screen caps you've saved or your own stories. I'll start. Be me. Maybe eight or nine. At my house, it's around eleven or so at night. Getting ready for bed. In the bathroom, brushing my teeth. The door to the bathroom is open since all I needed to do was brush. While brushing, look around the room out of boredom. Get tired of that. Decide to look back at reflection. Notice something in the mirror I hadn't seen earlier. Since the door was open, you could look into the mirror and see the laundry room. Look a little closer. Notice something next to the washing machine. Looks like a person dressed in all black. It's a giant dress. Looks similar to a wedding dress. They're standing arms by their side, completely still. Weirdly still, sort of like a mannequin. Their head is facing down, but can make out nose and a mouth. Poke my head out the door to look at it. I was a stupid fucking kid. I have no clue how this didn't make me piss myself. Nothing there. Look the mirror again. Nothing there. Haven't had a similar experience in that house since. Still don't know what the fuck I saw. Be me at 16. A friend invites me to smoke. Friend suggests we go out to a cut. I don't know where it is, so I agree and follow. We walk across town and stop at an abandoned house by my old middle school. Instant bad feeling. There was lots of rumors about the house. The home's owner allegedly killed himself. A girl from another school went missing some years prior. Last seen by the house. I'm already creeped out but want to get high, so I go in anyway. The inside is dark. All the windows and doors are boarded. We had to get in and out by climbing through a hole in one of the walls. Graffiti and broken glass everywhere. We sit amid the debris and smoke. While we're there, I can hear noises from inside the darkness. 
scratching, creaking. We shine a phone light down the dark hall, but something weird happened. The house was small, but the darkness inside was deep, really deep. The hallway beside the room where we were looked like it went on forever. More noises, more scratching, louder than before. I'm starting to freak out but say nothing because my friend would talk shit. My friend says we should explore the house, see if there's anything valuable in it. I'm at my limit, too creeped out. I make up an excuse and say I need to go home and we leave. While we're walking back, I ask him if he heard the noises and sounds in the house. What noises, man? I didn't hear anything. I drop the matter and we part ways. Neither of us went back to that house again after that. 2009. Family telling stories. Mom tells this story about visiting her mother in the hospital. Says she talked to a man at the front desk and noticed a woman sitting behind him. Said she saw her blink sideways. Mom disregards, thinks she imagined it. Begins looking more closely at the woman. The woman makes direct eye contact with her and she does it again. Mom says it was like she wanted her to know that yes, in fact, she had seen it correctly. She started blinking normally after that. Horrified her for years. She stood by her story and no one ever believed her. Fast forward to 2023. This lady freaks out on the plane after seeing a man blink sideways. Not gonna lie, bros. I never believed this shit until this video came out. This was an awakening for me. What are these things anyway? In today's thread, spooky personal experiences. Be me, driving down back road with my friend at night. Anon, I gotta take a shit. Can you pull up somewhere? Pull up to a gas station out in fucking nowhere. Friend rushes into station. Stay out in the small lot right next to the station. Start fucking around on my phone. Flick lighter a few times. Movement out of the corner of my eye. Snap to attention, fucker. I don't see anything but blackness. Hairs stand up on end. Jesus Christ, friend. Take a shit and let's fucking go. Look in rearview mirror. See friend. Finally, look at him closer. His face doesn't seem normal. Something is very wrong. He gets in the car. He's completely silent. Worried as hell. I suddenly get a text. Jump in my seat. It's my friend that just texted me. He's asking if I want anything from the store. Whoever is in my car, it's not my friend. Announce I have to piss. Get out of car slowly. Sprint to store. Run up to the friend who is browsing the gum section. Explain there is someone in our car as I panic. We both drop our shit and run outside. No one is in the car. The door is open. We slide into my car and peel out in the parking lot. I haven't gone back to that place since. And nothing like this has happened since. Be me. Since two days ago, weird shit started to happen during the night. The motion sensor camera in my backyard that lights up when it senses motion through the window of my room starts randomly during the night. I always feel watched. When I try to sleep, I can swear that something touches me or even grabs my foot before disappearing. I can hear whispers and footsteps, but when I check, I see no one. My blanket was pulled off me by an unseen asshole force. My cat stares stressed out for lengthy periods of time at random spots in the house. The touches, whispers, steps, etc. stop when I turn the light on. That's why I sleep with my lights on now. But when I wake up in the morning, the lights are turned off. What the fuck is happening? My parents are out of the country for a few days and I'm in the house with my younger brother. I know that it couldn't be him because he is asleep when this shit happens. I always sleep with my door closed. I would be able to see slash hear him come in.